everybody, my name is Lori and welcome to Slicing Artist. So this week I'm actually working with Eva over at Let's Clay and we're going to be doing a collaboration for you guys for how to make a Spongebob cake and how to make Spongebob figurines out of clay. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the cake and this is what Eva is going to show you. She's done a tutorial for you guys how to make Gary the Snail completely out of clay. She also has tutorials for how to make Patrick and Plankton. Once you guys are done watching this video, don't forget to head on over to her channel because she has lots of other tutorials over there and you can always apply anything that she's making out of clay to fawn and figurines. That's what I love about it. So let's get started and make that cake. So to make my Spongebob cake, I've baked a 9 by 13 vanilla cake and now I'm just using some buttercream icing and I'm just going to put that over my whole cake and just give it a nice thin crumb coat. After that, I'm going to rub it down with a piece of paper towel and that's going to really smooth the crumb coat out. I'm going to wet the lower edge of the cake just using some water so that way my fondant sticks to my cake. Now I'm going to roll out some yellow fondant. And I've just used a little icing sugar so it doesn't stick to my table. I'm going to roll it over my rolling pin and then roll it back onto my cake like this. I'm going to position it more where I need it onto my cake. And then I'm going to pull out the edges and push down with my hands to help smooth it to the cake. You can also use a fondant smoother at this point to help further kind of smooth out your cake and make sure it's nice and tight. Going over the top and the edges. And now I'm going to just trim off all that excess fondant. So now using my balling tool, I'm just going to make these little kind of ball indents. SpongeBob's got all these little different holes in his face, so that's what I'm going to kind of recreate with my balling tool to make it look a little bit more textured. And then I'm going to wet the bottom half of my cake and get ready to put his pants on. <laughs> so I've rolled out some chocolate fondant, or you can also use brown fondant. And doing the same thing I did to the top, I'm just going to roll that over my cake. And it's okay if you have a little space there because we can fill that in afterwards. And I'm just going to pull it out and smooth it down to my cake just like we did with the yellow fondant. Smooth it out with my tool and then trim off all the excess. Now for that middle part, I'm just going to wet it with water on both the pants and the top. Cut out a thin strip of white fondant and I'm going to place that right into the middle and that's going to kind of fill up the gap. I'm going to trim that to size. And then I'm going to lay over a bigger strip and that's going to be for his shirt. There, it's already starting to look like Spongebob. Now before I did anything else, I want to start airbrushing all those little holes that we made with some green airbrush. Now you can also dust these with green or you can leave it as is, but I chose to airbrush it just to give it a little bit extra color and depth. Not too green, just a little extra kind of detail. And now we can start making all of his details. So for his eyes, I've rolled out some white fondant and I'm just going to use a circle cutter and cut out two large circles. And then with blue fondant, it's kind of like a sky blue, cut out two smaller ones and then two smaller black ones. Now for everything, I'm using water as my glue and that's going to help assemble everything and stick the fondant pieces together. I'm going to put a little speck of white for um, that little you know, the way that the light hits your eye and gives you a little fleck of life and light. <laughs> and I'm going to glue his eyes to the cake. And for his mouth, I'm using some chocolate fondant. I've cut out a large circle, and then I'm going to cut out a half circle kind of out of that, and that's going to create this kind of half moon shape. And that's going to be for his big smile. And then I'm going to use some pink fondant for his tongue and cut out this little triangle out of the middle of it. And glue that on. And two white pieces, little rectangles for his teeth. Whenever you're making something like this, it's always good to work in layers. In addition to that, it's always good to look at a picture of what you're trying to recreate. You can use either templates for the sizing, or you can just look at the picture and try to make it from that. But try to make something without looking at a picture can be quite difficult. He's also got these little yellow cheek circles, so I've made those. And for his nose, I've rolled out a little log of yellow fondant. I'm going to stick a toothpick in it and then stick that into the cake. And then when I go to cut the cake, I'm just going to remove his nose. But that way his nose sticks up a little bit more three-dimensional. Because he's got a big nose. 
and these big black eyelashes. And now we can start cutting out his tie. So SpongeBob's got a red tie, so I'm just gonna start cutting out the shape of it, cutting out little piece by piece until you're left with the shape of the tie that you're looking for. It's always better to cut away less than it is to cut away too much because you can always recut. And I'll glue that on. And then we need two white triangles for his collar, for the collar of his shirt. So I'm just gonna cut a square in half. He's got three black rectangles for kind of like his pockets underneath where his belt is. And for his arms, I'm just gonna roll out a log kind of like I did for his nose, except this one we're gonna flatten out and try to make the one end a little bit more flat. I'm gonna make three cuts and those are gonna be for his fingers. And I'm just gonna round them off with my fingers <laughs> to make his fingers a little bit more round so they're not all pointy. And that's it, pretty simple. And I'm just gonna glue him onto the cake board using some gel paste. It won't stick with water, so you can just use a piping jelly or gel paste to help stick it to your cake board. I'm gonna cover that with some white fondant just for his sleeve. And for his shoes, I'm using a ball of black fondant. I'm gonna kinda mold it into the shape of a shoe like this. And you're also gonna need two pieces of brown fondant and two strips of yellow fondant. Now we can just start assembling his legs with like the kind of pant leg of it and then his little legs and then his shoes. And I'm gluing those all on using gel paste. And your SpongeBob is all done. This is what he's gonna look like when he's all finished. Pretty goofy looking and really cute. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my Spongebob cake. I love Spongebob. He's one of those classic characters. He's been around for a long time, so I hope you guys really enjoyed him. And don't forget to head on over to Eva's channel. I'll leave a link in my description below and after this where you can see her video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you joined me today. I do new videos every Tuesday, all sorts of different kinds of cake decorating videos, so I'd love for you guys to subscribe or check out some of my other videos. Take care, everybody. And click here for Gary the Snail tutorial. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click here for last week's video.